Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meyer from Low Carb Love. Now, most of you know I've lost over 100 pounds, so today we're going to Costco. I'm gonna walk you through the frozen food aisle and show you some of the top frozen foods that have helped me throughout my weight loss journey. So before we go, I'm gonna make a quick coffee. I usually stop at Starbucks, but guys, I am so tired of spending almost $7 on a cup of coffee. So I found these um, coffee capsules online. They're from Cometeer so bomb you can make lattes mochas iced coffee i mean literally the possibilities are endless it's also super convenient because it's delivered straight to your door so i make mine super simple i just add my ice a little unsweetened almond milk the coffee capsule and then of course a little sweetener the taste is literally so much better than starbucks like the actual taste like you can taste the quality of it and on top of that you save so much money I'm telling you, if you're a coffee lover, just like me, busy mom, just always on the go, if you want the convenience and to save money, I am telling you right now, you are going to be obsessed with this coffee. Um, I'll leave it linked in the description below for you. You can use my discount code, which is low carb. It'll get you $20 off on your first two months plus free shipping. I'm telling you, it's just like a whole experience in a cup. So if you want it, go get it. You're going to love it. Let's head out to Costco and go walk that frozen food aisle. All right guys, so we're in the frozen food section. The first thing we're starting off with is one of my favorites ever. Guys, these wings right here, let me tell you, they are on another level. On the, in the air fryer, they come out super crispy. I feel like they're a really good price in comparison to like Buffalo Wild Wings that you guys know if you follow me on IG, then you know that I go there quite a bit. Um, at $18.69 for a four pound bag, that is a steal because at Buffalo Wild Wings, you get like 10 wings for like $16 or something like that. But um, this tastes really good. It is low in carbs. It has four carbs for about three ounces of edible meat. So, you know, I think that that's really good. Four carbs for like per serving. And it also comes with a buffalo sauce. I don't use the sauce. I use my sauce um, from like Primal or whatever that's clean um, because these wings do contain like melted dextrin, but guys, I'm telling you, if you're okay with having maltodextrin once in a while, these are definitely worth it. All right, guys, now I'm a big chicken person. Like I love chicken breasts, chicken thighs, and chicken tenders, like the tenderloins. So they have a great selection here in the frozen um, food section. These are about $18 for six pounds. I feel like it is super convenient because you just keep these in your freezer. You don't have to worry about them going bad. They're flash frozen, so you can literally go from the froze, from a bag, from it being completely frozen right onto the stove and cook it. Like you don't have to let it defrost. So I feel like it's super convenient and it's a great price. So we have the tenders. There's also chicken breast, which is great for so many dishes. The thing about chicken breast is that it's super lean. So it's lower in calories, lower in fats. So if you want something a little more fatty, then you definitely want to go with the thighs. But overall, it's just a great selection of chicken that they have in the frozen food aisle. Now, I've never actually tried their burgers here at Costco. Let me know if you have, because I see that they have like Angus beef. They have like a, like just a whole selection of like even grass fed burgers. I haven't tried them, but what I have tried that I really, really like are these little guys here. These are their salmon burgers. Guys, they are so good. They're nice and juicy. You can throw them into like a let, kind of like a lettuce wrap burger. You can top a salad with them. You can literally make so many different things, even just cook it and then cut it with like a little dipping sauce on the side. I'm telling you, they are so good. And at 170 calories with 20 grams of protein, they are, I, for me personally, it's a good amount of protein to the calorie ratio, so. Now, this is a great option for breakfast, like on those days when you're looking for something super quick, you wanna get your protein in, you wanna stay um, low carb, then these here are really delicious. I originally tried the little samples when they were sampling them out and I was like, I picked up a box that day. Um, they are the spinach egg white frittatas, four net carbs, 70 calories, they are gluten free. You know, I'm always looking for the gluten free. They have four carbs and five grams of protein. So I feel like they don't have a tr like a lot of protein, but if you're having two, you'd at least have the 10 grams. But you know, they do have 
four carbs and only 70 calories. So I feel like it's a great little breakfast option, that, but on top of it all, they are just delicious. So let me know if you guys have tried these. If not, I think that if you're looking for just like an on the go, like I'm gonna leave just something super quick, these are good and they're low carb. All right, guys, so we're obviously here in the frozen food section, and this is not necessarily keto or super low carb, but it is a cauliflower crust and it is gluten free. Guys, when I tell you this is so delicious, it is the best gluten free pizza crust I've ever tried. I think if you're just looking for a gluten free pizza, just know that this one here is not super low in carbs, but it is so delicious. I just wanted to show you because we are in the frozen food section, and this is one of my favorite things here at Costco. <laughs> All right, now these cooked meatballs, guys, these are beef meatballs. They are so yummy. I feel like they're so underrated. A lot of people don't talk about them. They're not super, super clean, but it's just such an easy option to make like a quick pasta dish, to make like an Italian sub, even if it's low carb, I'm telling you, super flavorful. If you have not tried these, these are so good. And I think they're, yeah, they're 19, so $20 for six pounds. I feel like it's a good option. It's just a lot, so I think like you'd have to have like a big family in order to actually like pick up a bag this big of meatballs. <laughs> but they are good. All right, guys. So moving on to the veggies. If you know Costco, you know that the desserts are right next to the veggies. Guys, I am blown away that they have one of my ultimate favorite desserts here. It has to be new because I've never seen it. I cannot wait to show you. But moving on to the veggies for now, because these are super, super crucial. Like vegetables for me, I'm like a huge veggie fan, not only because they're healthy and all of that, but because I genuinely love what they do to my plate. Like with collie rice, I know a lot of people are kind of against it. It's kind of like the little black sheep of the veggies, but no guys, I'm telling you, if you want to do salmon bowls, if you want, if you love teriyaki bowls, like the, cal the cauliflower will lend as your rice. And if you do it right, it will be nice and fluffy and it's just so versatile. You can also make fried rice with it. So if you are, I'm telling you, if you are looking out for your carbs and you're also just trying to make healthier choices, cauliflower rice is your friend. <laughs> okay, the stir fry vegetable blend is so underrated. I swear I never see anybody get this. This is amazing for Asian inspired meals. Throw in some teriyaki sauce, throw in like a paleo one, of course. Throw in like all your Asian seasonings, a little fish sauce, a little sriracha. Oh my gosh, guys, the possibilities are endless, but I'm telling you, this one here has broccoli, snap peas, peppers. I mean, it's like a little bit of everything. Throw in some shrimp, throw in some chicken, even some steak, a little sauce, and you have a super easy stir fry in minutes. I'm telling you, veggies can totally diversify your menu and keep it interesting full of flavor, nutritious, and low in calories and carbs. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a win. And these little guys right here, this is the Normandy vegetables. I feel like nobody really likes these. These are vegetables that I pick up. As soon as I run out, I pick up another bag because they can make dinner so much easier. You throw these into a little pot, a little pot steam them, Make a make either salmon on the sides, a chicken breast on the side, a little steak on the side, and you have a super easy dinner. Everything that I'm showing you are things that I have in my freezer that have literally helped me over the years, not only because they're nice and filling and obviously nutritious, but they're actually delicious. Guys, and of course they have the green beans, they have the broccoli florets, but the one thing that I'm for sure grabbing when I come, is this bag of edamame. Now, I know you're probably like, uh, for what? Guys, they are such a great snack. They're low in carbs, low in calories. Like the bag is probably like, the individual bag is like this big. It has 140 calories and literally like seven carbs for the whole thing. So like, you know, when you go to like a sushi restaurant and you're having like edamame, that's basically the, that's exactly what it is. Just toss it in the microwave. I like to drizzle a little um, truffle oil and salt bomb. I'm telling you, it is so good. $12.99 and it comes with how many bags? 12 bags. Guys, I'm telling you, perfect snack. All right, guys, before I show you my dessert, we're going to do fruit really quickly. You already know that blueberries are low carb. We already know that strawberries are low carb, but this one here was actually very surprising to me. 
This is kind of like a little smoothie mixture that has, um, what is it, cherries, raspberries, strawberries, the whole shebango. Oh, they're back here. Pomegranates, red raspberries, blueberries, cherries, and strawberries. I was very surprised to see that it has nine grams of carbs. Nine grams of carbs for three-fourths of a cup. So I think that's amazing because think about it. If you're having a fruit smoothie, all you're gonna add in is almond milk. The almond milk is low in carbs, it's unsweetened. And let's say you add in a scoop of protein powder that of course doesn't have carbs or sugar. You're literally gonna have like a berry smoothie for nine carbs. Guys, I think that is a huge win. I compared it to all the other fruits. They're like 27 grams of carbs, 32 grams of carbs. So this one to have nine grams of carbs, I'm like, yes. And what is it? 9.89 for three pounds of the berries. I was like, yes, let's do this. Guys, we have come to my love. So actually, Timothy introduced me to these. Thank you, Timmy, back there. He introduced me to these guys right here. They are the kind frozen treat bars, guys. A treat bar is definitely an understatement. These are the best ice cream bars I've ever tried, dairy-free or not, low carb or not. They are phenomenal, like what? And I wasn't even going to show them, but I was like, let me just take a look at the, at the nutritional, you know, the label just to see if they happen to be. Guys, they are nine carbs for these, nine carbs. I know that sounds like a lot, but let me tell you, like, it is worth every carb. <laughs> like, it is, it is not keto, but it's definitely low in carbs. It has 180 calories, which it, for me personally, I think it's a little high, but I'm telling you, they're worth it. The 180, the nine carbs, if you haven't tried these, oh my gosh. And at Ralph's, you guys know I'm always at Ralph's, six bars cost $8. Here, there's 12, 12 bars for $10. The only thing that scares me is that little guy right there. Doesn't that mean that they're gonna be discontinued? Why, like why? But anyway, this one here, if you have not tried it, it is low in carbs, delicious. Don't try them if you don't wanna get addicted. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, guys. These are so amazing. All right, guys, so that is it for the frozen food section. These are my low carb favorite items. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know which are your favorite low carb items here at Costco. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notification bell on because it is so important for you to get notified every time I post a video. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.